Hey, sweetheart, I'm home. Yeah, I know I'm home early. Work was supposed to go on until 8 today, but at 6, the boss just sent everyone home just like that. He said that he expected us to take longer at this or something like that. But secretly, I think he just wanted to go home early. <laughs> Though, I guess you can't blame him. I'd want to go home early as well if we're working from 9am to 8pm. Yes, I promise you, this is only for this week. The boss told us that himself. And as much as a pain in the ass that he can sometimes be, well, he keeps his word. I like that about him. Maybe that's the reason that I can accept this week. Unlike the quarter of the workforce who just stand around the building all day, holding up signs that amount to basically nothing. Hey, long work days means more pay for me. As much as they suck, with that little bit more money, I get to treat my baby to a nice dinner at the end of the week. <laughs> yes, that dinner is still happening. I promised you, didn't I? Depending on how much more we were getting paid, I treat my sweetie at the end of the week. Turns out, every extra hour we work, our boss is paying us 150% of the hourly rate which we currently work at. So, I get to take you on an amazing date later this week. <laughs> hey, be patient now. It's already Thursday. Just one more day tomorrow. And then we can do whatever you want to do this weekend. Yes, for the last time. I promise. <sighs> I am... Um, I'm kind of tired, so I am going to go take a nap, if you don't mind. <laughs> Good. Thank you, sweetheart. Just wake me up when dinner's ready, alright? Thank you. I'll be by your side again soon, okay? Then we can spend the night just relaxing after we eat. I... I love you. Oh. Hi, baby. Is... is dinner ready already? Hmm? What time is that? What? You... you did just say 10 p.m., right? Oh god, why didn't you wake me up? I'm assuming you ate dinner already, so it must have been lonely. Hold on, scratch that. You must have had a lonely night. What were you thinking, sweetheart? Hey, are you alright? You look a little, I don't know, upset? Are you sure? You don't seem fine. You seem a bit worried, actually. Did something happen while I was asleep? Th this is about me. Th did I do something to upset you? Because if I did, we can talk about it. Whatever it was, I didn't do it on purpose, I think. So... If you tell me, we could work through it. You have a question for me? Sure, ask away. What's up? Uh, am I okay? Yeah, I feel fine. Still a bit tired, but other than that, I'm okay. Why do you ask, sweetie? You're kind of worrying me. You heard crying coming from the room, so you chose not to come in. <laughs> Honey, that's 
ridiculous. I was asleep, so how could I have... <sighs> it's even hard for me to believe my lies at this point. <sighs> yeah, alright, yeah. You did indeed hear crying from our room. Because, well, I was, for a while at least. N no, no, it's it's not because of you, baby. I, I swear, just, it's... <sighs> all right, all right, I'll, I'll talk. Maybe it's because of this week being so hard on me, lack of sleep making me go insane or something, but... Can I ask you something, honey? And this is a serious question. I know I can ask stupid joke things, but... I want an honest answer here. Do you still enjoy being with me? Uh, hey, why, why, are you, why do you look like you're about to cry? What's wrong with what I asked? Why do I ask that? Well, okay. I've been, I've been thinking. You remember when we met, right? Freshman year of high school, first day, I instantly got a bad reputation to my name. Thinking back, I guess I couldn't blame everyone. Seeing a 14-year-old with piercings and like five to six rings around each hand is odd, I guess, for the normal people. And then the mask. I don't know, my found it comforting to wear, as if it protected me from the outside world. Although, that isn't an issue anymore as much since, you know, the whole world going to shit thing. <laughs> but, yeah, people constantly made fun of me, called me an Evo, edgy, the usual stuff. Hell, some even called me suicidal at times. So, after a few weeks of this, one time I came to school without any rings on, and without my piercings. I still got weird looks. Oh, the edgy had changed, they all said. But it was less than usual, and for a second there I felt happy. But then, when I entered the classroom, remember what happened then? You stood up from your chair, came marching towards me, with that scary and angry look on your face, and looked me dead in the eye. Then suddenly your eyes were watering, and with that upset and angry tone of yours, you asked why I wasn't wearing my piercings and my rings. Then, when I asked why you should care, you told me that it made me part of who I am. It was part of my identity. And it would be a waste to let me be influenced by others. I swear, if you'd gone on any longer that day, I would have cried alongside you. But that conversation made me realize it doesn't matter what others think as long as I'm happy then it's okay. But then, for some reason, this week I've been thinking about it more, you know? I never really told you this, but I've been thinking of changing my style. I don't know, I just have been wanting to try something different lately. But when I thought about it some more, something came to my mind. If I change how I've always been since the day we met, would you still like me? I know that. I know, it sounds stupid, okay? It just sounds stupid. But you've known this me all this time. So, if that changes, 
thought crossed my mind that maybe you won't see me as the as the guy you fell for anymore and you would end up leaving me so for the past few days i've just convinced myself that i'm not allowed to change i'm not allowed to try a different look because this this is who i am piercings and rings included and i am not allowed to change that that's what i've been thinking so tonight i just couldn't take it anymore and i broke down i guess and yeah now we're now we're here sorry i've been talking for so long and you've just been sitting here and <laughs> Hey, what was that for? I thought I was supposed to be the one to give you kisses out of nowhere. <laughs> I... Yes, honey. I know. I know that it's stupid. But you mean the world to me. You're my everything. And I don't ever want you to leave. And I don't want to leave you, either. You'll stay with me, won't you? <laughs> C come on. Why do you always want to fluster me at times like this? I... I didn't say it doesn't work, but... I... Guess that means you'll stay with me, right? <laughs> I guess that makes it a little bit better. Yeah, I'm sorry for not telling you this. Next time I'll try and talk to you about it, as hard as that may be. I know I can trust you after all. I have for the past six years, and I'll continue trusting you, for as long as I can. <laughs> hey, I know this is totally going to ruin the moment, but I didn't have dinner, so by any chance, is there still some leftover? <laughs> yeah. Then, if you don't mind... Want to come sit with me and after we eat, go watch a movie or something? Yeah, that does sound nice. <laughs>